The Technical Drafting Committee for Evictions Regulations is currently evaluating the necessary components for eviction orders to be processed by the Court of Ganhawage. As a component of the Ganhawage Residency Law, Yedzahaya's Tanya Paran and Commissioner of Justice Kevin Fleischer provide background on the development of the regulations and the upcoming engagement events designed for community members to provide feedback on them. So we're going to explain a little bit about the um, evictions regulations. And uh, I know that the minute everybody hears the word evictions, uh, it may set off some panic. Um, I just want to assure everybody that uh, we are by no means at any point uh, in a process of anybody uh, being evicted. There's a number of pieces that are still being put into place in order to enforce um, the two laws that actually form the foundation uh, for this. I want everybody to keep in mind we have a Ganyakahage of Ganawage law as well as a Ganawage, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, a Ganawage residency law. Uh, both of those laws have been in force now, uh, one for a couple of years and the other one more recent for about a year now. And uh, all um, people within the community are expected to abide by those laws. So those laws are in force. The piece that's not in force yet is the piece concerning evictions. Under the residency law, there is a section that provides for evictions of people who do not have an entitlement or permission to reside within the territory. And that, once again, is according to the laws. So um, the um, evictions process uh, is currently being looked at. We're in the initial uh, stages of uh, evaluating what that regulation would look like for eviction orders. And um, as part of the justice um, portfolio, I'm the, the portfolio chief, I'm on the technical drafting committee along with uh, Kevin Fleischer, who is the commissioner of justice, is also on the technical drafting committee, um, and uh, Suzanne uh, Jackson from legal, uh, as well as my colleague, sorry, Jessica uh, Lazar. So we are all uh, looking as a technical drafting committee at um, the regulation for evictions and what would need to be in place in order to actually bring uh, a request for an order to the court of Ganawage. Uh, I want to remind everybody again that there's a bunch of other pieces that come before it would get to a court of Ganawage and that is not really within the wheelhouse of justice services. That is something that is more... Um, uh, in the wheelhouse of client-based services. So if anybody has any questions about that, uh, you contact um, client-based services for, for those, uh, those questions. There's currently a technical drafting committee team that's doing the front end work for the regulation respecting eviction orders. Uh, these regulations are important because if a formal request for an eviction order is submitted to the Court of Ganawage, there's no process in place right now that sets out how exactly that process would work. So the regulation is essentially uh, rules of evidence and procedure, outlining uh, time limits, what has to be submitted, uh, who could appear at the court, those sorts of things that are needed. The technical drafting committee will be going out to the community in various forms in order to um, obtain some uh, feedback and some input into uh, those uh, the regulations. Keeping in mind they're very technical regulations, uh, as Kevin mentioned, they do deal with uh, evidence and procedure uh, and not so much, you know, who should be evicted and when, because that's not part of these regulations. The Court of Ganawage, as you may know, is an independent, neutral institution that makes decisions based on fact, law, and admissible evidence. And in order to ensure a fair process for all, it's in the interest of justice that these rules of evidence and procedure be in place essentially so that everyone who goes to the court knows how the process is going to work, know what the expectations are, and know what their obligations are also. So this regulation uh, is uh, really important um, for the community to be aware of, uh, to provide their input, uh, and in order to do so, I think it's really important also to uh, take a look at both the Ganyakahaga of Ganawage law, as well as the Ganawage residency law, um, number one, first and foremost, so that you know what's applying to you because all community members are uh, expected to um, comply with the laws, but also um, in order to be able to provide your input 
to um, the surveys and uh, provide feedback on the regulations for uh, evictions uh, orders. We would ask the community to keep their eyes and ears open for a forthcoming community engagement period where we'll be gauging the community's opinion on different issues pertaining to this regulation. Uh, we'll have a, probably a kiosk and, and surveys. So we would ask people to please take the time, fill out the survey. If you have any questions, feel free to call either myself or Tanya.